Hope you're doing good today. Today I'm just uh, packing up my stuff, so I figured I would do a uh, what's in my gym bag and uh, bring you guys along for the ride. So uh, we're gonna cover that. Uh, I've got everything laid out and I'm just gonna go through it uh, pretty quick, um, just one by one. So thanks for watching. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna go in order of what is next to me first. And uh, last event is actually the first thing that I have. So I'm bringing for the last event, I've got my uh, Elite Tacky here, uh, Dave Austin's Elite, Elite Tacky. I've got my arm uh, uh, forearm sleeves, and then I've got chalk. I've got chalk for uh, the grip event because there is a uh, farmers into sled and drag. And then I've got baby oil to get the um, tacky off. And then I've got paper towels because you can't assume that they're gonna have paper towels. So I always bring a roll of my own. And uh, that is the first stuff that I'm bringing. Second thing I'm bringing is I need my knee sleeves. So I've got these uh, Evolution Athletic knee sleeves that I've had for maybe about a year at this point. Um, I think I used them at uh, Minnesota Strongest Man last year, but uh, definitely essential to uh, my date, um, my uh, Strongman day. So we'll definitely be bringing these. Third thing I'll be bringing is uh, this uh, Cerberus Strength Underbelt that I just got. I got the um, Cerberus Strength version three Underbelt. Um, different than when I uh, made my gym bag and uh, gym bag video in January I didn't bring an underbelt um, some of that was I didn't need it and some of it was I didn't want to use it for anything at that comp so specifically for this comp uh, I want this underbelt um, I know that I can't wear my regular belt when I do Atlas stones so this time I'm gonna bring an underbelt um, it doesn't really give me much, but um, hopefully it's just a little bit more than not wearing something. So we'll, we'll see how that pans out. <laughs> so fourth thing on my list, I've got my shoes. So I'll be wearing these for static events and I'll be wearing these runners for my moving events. So I've got, um, let me think here, one, two, four, for moving events, I've got to do farmers into a sled drag and then yoke into a shield carry. And uh, I, I've i always worn my Saucony uh, runners that I've had for, I don't know, 10 years almost at this point. Um, I always wear those. Um, I know a lot of people would say that you don't get the um, ankle stability, but I've never really had that as a problem. Um, that being that I've had uh, unstable ankles or anything like that. And I find that they're just more comfortable to move in versus these flat bottoms. So I'm gonna wear these for probably deadlifts and um, Atlas stones possibly, and then maybe log, and then my runners for my moving event. Next thing on my list is uh, straps. So I've got three types of straps here. I've got uh, leather ones and then I've got um, uh, long sixes and then I've got a set of eights. I'm not sure what the handle is going to be like on this uh, Ukrainian deadlift so I'm just I'm going to bring all of my my uh, straps that I own seeing as they're all different types and see which one feels the best on the day and uh, that's the one I'm going to go with so I'm thinking it's going to be my uh, leather uh, rogue leather uh, sixes that I've got but uh, we'll just have to see so next on my list is uh, belts so I'm gonna bring my uh, strength shop uh, two prong and I'm gonna bring my Jim Reapers uh, lever belt there um, I find that most things I like my lever belt for but sometimes I find that like when I do deadlifts it doesn't feel very good or 
Um, sometimes I find that my two prong belt is just slightly more rigid for some reason, even though on there, like if you look at them, they're literally the same thickness, but for some reason, um, maybe it's because of uh, this angle. So like when you put your lever belt on and it locks in, then it's got this uh, double overhang here and it kind of pinches the stomach. So maybe it's that doesn't feel as good, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna bring, both of my belts and see which one feels best for what events because obviously there will be warm-ups and I won't be wearing it for um, log but I'll have it on for farmers um, I'll probably probably wear my lever belt for the most part but um, I'm gonna bring my other one just in case I've had the the end of the lever break this uh, little like hooky thing so just in case my lever breaks, then I've got a second belt and you, and you always want to be prepared. I'd rather have two belts than no belt. Next thing <laughs> so. I'm bringing is some, um, some rubber uh, bands um, so I can do some shoulder warming up, some tricep warming up. I usually bring uh, two sets, uh, one red and one black. Uh, just to have a little bit thicker one in case I want it. But um, typically the red one gets me about where I need to be. Um, I don't know, I don't know all of what'll be there for warm up equipment. So I like to bring, I like to at least bring bands because then at least I've got something that I can kind of pump my arms up, pump my triceps up, you know, do some shoulder flies, um, some clamshells with a little resistance to get my glutes firing, you know, whatever I need. But uh, they're just really simple things to just throw in a bag and, <laughs> you know, then you've got them, so. Next thing I'm bringing is my Evolution Athletic, there we go, uh, grip shirt. Um, I am going to slightly modify it when it comes to the comp. Right now I've still got the sleeves on, but when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna cut the sleeves off and then I'm gonna tape, tape the shoulders up. Um, the shirt, I ended up accidentally getting uh, two, well, I guess at this point two, well, a size too small. I was gonna say two sizes too small, but right now I would say, I would say a three XL would be fairly tight, but it wouldn't be, as restrictive as this one. Um, when I bought it, the idea was, you know, if I've got a tight um, grip shirt, that it'll stick to my body and won't like come off, move, or whatever too much. But um, yeah, it's so hard to wear that it's it's actually restricting in my shoulders. So when I go to press, it's it's bound up here and kind of holds me back a little bit. So. Instead of getting a new grip shirt, I'm just gonna modify the one that I got, and uh, that's what I'm gonna use, so. And then the uh, last item on my list that uh, should have been first on my list, actually, is uh, what I'm gonna put everything in. So I've got my Cerberus, uh, uh, nice, my nice Cerberus uh, comp bag that I got uh, for my birthday last year. Um, I've only actually used it for one comp and then it's just been kind of in the corner because it's it's so big that it almost doesn't work as a gym bag. It's more of a like all day comp kind of deal. I don't I don't take much to the gym when I go. If I go to the Y, I'll, I'll take my belt, um, shoes and depending on the day, sleeves and straps. But it's like I've got a smaller bag that I just put that stuff in so I never actually use it but uh yeah it's uh it's a super nice bag and it's got the wheels of course so I can just roll it but uh uh was super happy I got it as a Christmas present or a birthday present um, um I'm pretty sure that's all I'm going to be taking I might find a thing or two um and like I said I've got to alter my grip shirt a little bit before I go or take scissors with me and do it in the hotel room or something. Give me something to do while I'm doing nothing anyway, so. But uh, then I'll have a few other things in the house, like 
uh, foam roller, massage uh, gun, uh, my lacrosse ball, um, my swimsuit, because uh, the hotel's got a pool, so I'll be doing that. But um, yeah, if I if I think of anything else, I'll throw it in there. But that's that's pretty much the plan for right now of what I'm taking. So um, I just also wanted to add that uh, I appreciate everybody that watches. Um, I've got as of right now 111 subscribers, so that means that 111 people uh, took time out of their day to just watch my nonsense here so i appreciate that <laughs> but um i'll do a comp recap uh well i'll do a um comp video uh, of each event that i do and then i'll probably do a recap video um plus a what what's next video after that but um that's the plan for right now so wish me luck guys um I don't know how I'm going to do, so, but I'm uh, trying to be prepped for everything. So thanks for watching.